a new update to Final Fantasy VII Remake got announced. And it's going to be one of those, um, basically, if you own the game on the PS4, you can upgrade for free to the PS5 version. And that's fucking amazing, because if you think about it, like the first thing that comes to my mind, remember when I played the game and I was like, dude, yeah, cool. The character models look really detailed and kind of awesome. But like, if you took a look at the environments, like there were a lot of parts where the textures didn't really look that great. Like they had very low environmental textures. And I hope that this update is going to fix that. I also hope that this update is going to bring us uh, full 60 FPS because for a game like this, while it, while it, yes, it's meant to be a cinematic game, but at the same time, it's kind of a fast paced action game. So I feel like 60 FPS is going to help the game a lot, but yeah, let's, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so that's on the PS5 already. And that's 60 FPS, definitely. <laughs> yes. Come on, let's push it past the red line. Now it's my turn. Got your little force right here. A touching reunion. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. <sighs> it's Yuffie. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. Oh, we'll prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. The Members DLC? of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Who's this guy? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost. Who? <laughs> he will be okay. Wait, who? Though, right? <laughs> well, Sonon we Kasakabe. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Uh, cool. Should we say hi? Random new character. <laughs> oh, better not. After what they've done, you've got to assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Stop! <laughs> we gotta help. Yeah, it looks like this is a yeah, some kind of a DLC story. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> Whoa! Yes! Oh my God, dude! Oh, it looks so good in 60 FPS. Oh yes! That was so needed. <laughs> It's actually like it is her original outfit. Like 100%. <laughs> you guys should probably get moving. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. We deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, they do, but I'm not your sister. Yeah. There you are. Who are these jerks? No Wait, so is it's is Yuffie here. going to be playable before Red 13? <laughs> Wait a second. What? Yo, Red 13. Let the hunt begin. The forgotten hero, dude. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That was. Get down here, Merc. Was that the the boss from Dirge of Cerberus? Vice. Vice was the name. Yeah. Color. Oh, nice! Direct comparison between the graphics. Okay, this looks the same. <laughs> so far, it looks mostly like just post-processing. Yeah, there's more bloom. Effects. Uh 
RTX. Okay, no one cares about that. <laughs> Loading times? Whoa! What? Yo! That's big. Oh my god, dude. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that makes such a difference, dude. Like, the loading times were so fucking bad. The loading times were horrible in the original remake. Especially if you only had a, an HDD. PS5 is obviously an SSD, so... Dude, that loading, that loading time was like, I don't know, a second or two. <laughs> it was crazy. It was like That's instant almost. Just do it. Yep. Awesome. Oh yeah, and here we go. Yeah, 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 okay. Gonna pause it right here, just to clarify. If you own a copy of the PlayStation 4 version for Final Fantasy VII Remake, upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version for free. That is so fucking good. <laughs> you can even carry over your save data? Oh, that's even better, nice. To upgrade your PS4 disc version, of the game to the PS5. Oh shit. You need a PS5 console with a disk drive. That is really important for me actually because I did um I did get the, the steelbook version of the game. So I definitely need a PS5 with a disk drive. Or maybe, you know. <laughs> I, I would certainly love to just get a PS5 at this point. But uh yeah, I mean Maybe maybe it'll be possible until the release. <laughs> and then new episode. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay. This is also important. New episode featuring Yuffie available for purchase after upgrading to the PlayStation 5 version. Okay. So, the Yuffie DLC episode is not going to be part of the of the game but you have to you have to purchase it afterwards like it's it's paid dlc all right but you can you can only get it oh this is also important guys you can only i assume that's what it means i assume that's what it means that you cannot buy the dlc for the PS4 version. That's actually kind of fucked up. If you ask me, but... It also kind of makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like if they wanted to make it available for the PS4 version as well, they could have easily done so. But they decided that... Um, basically, you have to upgrade to the PS5 version. Which, if you, if you own the PS4 version, it's free. But you still need to buy the console, right? So, for some people that might be already a bit too much just to play a DLC, right? So yeah, you have to you have to get the PS5. You have to upgrade your game, or if you don't own it, I guess you have to to buy the PS5 version, and then you have to also purchase the DLC. Now it doesn't it doesn't tell how expensive it is, but knowing Square Enix. It could be up to 30 bucks. Like, they, they sometimes go kind of crazy when it comes to DLC prices, so... I don't know about that. I feel like that's a bit... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I would like to play that new episode, but... Then again, first of all, it, it's not gonna be... I mean, yes, I guess it's going to be canon, but if you really think about it... 
it's probably just going to be filler stuff. And I don't think that the new characters that got introduced, like this Sinon guy. Sinon Kusakabe. Um, I don't think you can play them in like the main game. He's probably going to... Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! He's probably going to die during the story, trying to save Yuffie, I guess. Um, that would be the cliche thing. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's probably... What I'm trying to say is... I think that DLC is going to be a nice addition for the people who want to get more Final Fantasy VII Remake on their hands. But it's not going to be important for, like, the overall story or something like that. So, if it's too expensive for you, I think you can just pass. Oh! There we go. So, it says 610, which means uh, 10th of June, right? That's actually, that's still a while. That's still a while, actually. Huh. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say the obvious thing here. I think a lot of people would have preferred to see um, news about Remake Part 2, right? But, um... Quite honestly... I think it was too early. It was too early for Part 2 um, news. And, um, so I'm really happy with what we got here, you know. It's kind of nice to get a free PS5 update for this game. And it looks, dude, it looks so fucking fluid with this CFPS. I really like what I'm seeing here. You know what's funny? Just taking a first look at the comparison, you would actually... I think a lot of people will say PlayStation 4 actually looks better. <laughs> but that's that's due to um on the left side here for example you have added fog effects you don't have those over here right and that's why this picture actually looks more detailed taking a first look because you just see more of the floor so i'm pretty sure that a lot of people who who saw, who saw this were like Ooh, playstation 4 looks much better <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, like you have to keep in mind, um, what they did with the PlayStation 5 version is they mostly added post-processing stuff, like they added, they added more bloom, they added more light, lighting effects, they added uh, fog effects, you know, and um, stuff like that is going to, like while you play the game, then it's gonna be uh, noticeable. I can not see a difference here at all. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of obvious. This is this is lighting, lighting. Lots of more lighting. Same here. I bet this is also something that most people would say. Oh, this looks just the same. Or like PlayStation 5 has higher contrast. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's it's added lighting effects. I think this is probably the, the first comparison where most people are going to be like, oh yeah, okay, this looks different now. Because you have like this this insane bloom effect on the on the sky here. I'm actually not a big fan of Bloom, but I don't know. Looks pretty good here, actually. Also, it does say textures. So I guess they did update a few textures. I hope, I really hope. Because <laughs> the low-res textures of some environments um, are kind of what, what killed the graphics in a few parts of the remake. But that was just, you know, that was mostly the limitation of the PlayStation 4, for sure. So they can definitely go ahead and improve some of those textures for the for the PlayStation 5 version. So that's uh, if they do that, they probably they probably will. Then um, that is very much appreciated.
yeah, same here again. You can see like lighting differences. This is such a cool spot, by the way. <laughs> I really like the view from up there. Yeah, this is obvious. This is obvious. Like, if you if you cannot see the the differences between the fog effects, then I don't know. Like, just yeah, like. The light sources seem just more like dynamic or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, that oh, I didn't even see that before. Check the check the class. Coming up right here. See this? There's like there's mirrored effects from all of the lights out here on the class. And that didn't exist on the PlayStation 4 version at all. That's actually, that's a pretty big deal. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, not sure what I'm supposed to see here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, this once again shows a bit, bit more of the lighting in the bloom. Not sure why I see lighting and bloom, since bloom is also kind of a lighting effect. Oh, this is also going to be nice. So they are going to have two separate modes, two optimization modes. One is graphic optimization mode. Uh, which basically focuses on, you know, showing the, the best graphics at 4K resolution. And if you don't care about graphics too much, you also have the performance optimization mode, which is probably what, what I'm always going to pick. Um, and this one prioritizes a 60 FPS stable frame rate. And that's going to be amazing for this game. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure why they added this because I feel like I feel like no one actually cared about classic mode anyway. But yeah, they did add classic mode for normal. That was not in the um, original remake. It was only easy classic, easy and normal. But now you also have normal classic. So Yeah. I don't know. I guess that is going to exist now, which I don't know. Maybe there's a bunch of people who want to try it out. I would not recommend it. <laughs> I would recommend learning the new system. Oh my god. <laughs> this might be the most, like, <laughs> the most important factor for me to like this new update. This is the, the loading times. Oh my god, just take a look at this again. Remember, dude, I, when I was playing the remake, I only own an HDD in my uh, PS4 Pro. But it is a Pro, at least. Um, but still, the loading times were crazy. Like, sometimes up to, like, 20 or 30 seconds before I was able to load something. And now look at this. Load game, bam, menu. Okay, load this file. Okay, one, two. Two seconds, you're in the game. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. It's not even two seconds. Less than two seconds and you're in the game playing. That's so fucking awesome. Yeah, and I didn't even talk, I didn't even talk about the photo mode yet, right? <laughs> Look at this. It's actually like a bunch of a bunch of games recently had a photo mode like this. Um comes to mind, for example, the last one that I um Remember was um, what's it called? The Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, you you can make some very cool things with this kind of stuff. So it's nice that they added it as well. Look at all the filters! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at Tifa. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. and then obviously the, the DLC. So yeah. Pretty cool. I'm I'm pretty excited about this. Um especially because it's going to be a free upgrade. You know. Not talking about the, the DLC here, but uh yeah, the update to the PS5 version is going to be free. So that is pretty awesome. Very happy about this update. Oh, but yeah, wait a second. There's one thing I want to make sure. They need to add DLC to PS4 version. Yeah, that's what I said too. I, I feel like it's kind of a... It's kind of a dick move to uh, basically be like, Oh yeah, well, you need to upgrade to the PS5 version if you want to play this new episode because... Reasons. <laughs> like, th there's, there's no actual reason from a technical standpoint that would make them unable to uh to bring out that dlc for the ps4 version i guess maybe they didn't want to invest time into uh optimizing for the older console like they basically just wanted to focus on the ps5 version they basically want everyone to upgrade to to ps5 remake part 2 is most likely going to be a, a ps5 exclusive i'm pretty sure of that so uh you know it kind of works in their favor they said if you own a disc version of um well the ps4 version of the remake then you need a ps5 with a disc drive to do the free upgrade so basically i'm forced to get a ps5 with a disc drive and um kind of sucks because it's difficult enough to get a ps5 at the moment like <laughs> I, I just i never saw them being in stock not since release it, it's crazy I would really like to get one, but it's just, it's impossible right now. No, oh, there, there we go. Yeah. The hunt begin. Yeah, dude, that's, that's 100% Vice from uh, Dirge of Cerberus. What the fuck is he doing in there? It's kind of weird. This might actually be kind of a prequel. Maybe we, we'll, we'll see some Vincent, too. I mean, if, if Vice is here, you know, that would be fucking amazing. So yeah, I, I guess he's going to be the, the boss of the, the DLC. But yeah, they're, they're still going to be in Midgar. I guess this, I guess this is going to be um, like a parallel scenario. So while the, while the main story of the remake is going on, you also play as Yuffie in her own DLC episode and... I assume you never meet the the main group of people. But maybe there's like a few uh, occurrences where you see them in the background or stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm very interested. I, I kind of like this. I know a lot of people wanted to see part two um, news, but this is, I don't know. This is enough for me at the moment. It's like, you know, here, you know, Final Fantasy fan. Take this free update for your PS5. You're gonna need the PS5 anyway for the next remake part, so... <laughs> Take something for free if you want to buy this overpriced DLC. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. <laughs>